हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी बिगिन्स विथ द फिजियोलॉजी ऑफ गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टिनल ट्रैक्ट नाउ वी बिगिन्स विथ द कंट्रोल ऑफ गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टिनल फंक्शन विच इंक्लूड्स द सिक्रीशन एंड मोटिलिटी नर्वस कंट्रोल एंड हॉर्मोनल कंट्रोल इन दिस वीडियो we are going to see the enteric nervous system which is the most important sort not so first of all we begins with the nervous supply to the gastrointestinal tract so there are two supplies there are two types of nervous supply first one extrinsic supply via the autonomic nervous system and the second one intrinsic supply which is also known as enteric nervous system so first extrinsic supply this includes the sympathetic and parasympathetic supply to the gastrointestinal tract so first sympathetic nervous system fibers from t8 to l2 spinal segments means एट थोरेसिक सेगमेंट एंड सेकेंड लंबर सेगमेंट वेन एवर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टिम्युलेट दिस फाइबर्स देर विल बी द वेसो कंस्ट्रिक्शन एंड एक्साइटेशन ऑफ इलियोसिकल एंड इंटरनल एनाल स्पिंचर्स एंड स्मूथ मसल्स ऑफ द मस्क्यूलरिस म्यूकोजा देर विल बी द इनहिबिशन ऑफ मोटिलिटी इन द गट सो सो ग्रॉसली वेन एवर वी ट्राई टू स्टिम्युलेट the sympathetic nervous system it inhibits the motility in the gastrointestinal tract now parasympathetic nervous system inside the extrinsic nervous control of the gastrointestinal system this parasympathetic nervous system having a two fibers first one cranial parasympathetic fibers and second sacral parasympathetic fibers whenever we are going to stimulate both of these fibers there will be the excitation of all the musculature of the gut except sphincters to which it inhibits an increase in the gastrointestinal motility and secretory activity grossly whenever we try to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system it increases the gastrointestinal motility and secretory activity now the second one enteric nervous system which is also known as intrinsic nervous system in the enteric nervous system we are going to include the two plexus of neurons which are present in the different layers of the gastrointestinal tract first one submucosal nerve plexus or meesner's plexus which is present in the submucosa and the second one myenteric nerve plexus or orbage plexus which is present in the muscularis externa this myenteric nerve plexus inside the muscularis externa it is present between the inner circular smooth muscle and outer longitudinal smooth muscle look these are the circular smooth muscle on the inner side and these are the longitudinal smooth muscle on the outer side so it is present between the inner circular smooth muscle and outer longitudinal smooth muscle this is the myenteric nerve plexus or orbage nerve plexus and inside the submucosa the network of neuron which is present it is known as submucosal nerve plexus or meesner's nerve plexus all right enteric nervous system so meesner's plexus or submucosal plexus is present in the submucosal layer it controls secretory activity and blood flow to the gastrointestinal tract whenever there will be the stimulation to the meesner's plexus or submucosal plexus it controls the secretory activity and blood flow to the gut next one myenteric plexus or orbage plexus it is present in between the circular and longitudinal muscle fibers of the muscle coat of the gastrointestinal tract 
stimulation of these myenteric or orbage plexus there will be the increase in the tone of the gut wall increase in the intensity of rhythmical contractions of the gut wall and it increases in the rate of contraction and velocity of the contraction so what will be the response whenever we are going to stimulate the myenteric plexus or orbage plexus there will be the increase in the tone of the gut wall increase in the intensity of the rhythmical contractions of the gut wall and increase in the rate of contraction and velocity of the contraction so it increase the gut movements mesner's plexus and myenteric plexus both are interconnected with each other and are under control of sympathetic and parasympathetic component of the extrinsic nervous system so this mesner's plexus and myenteric plexus both are interconnected with each other and they are also works under the control of sympathetic and parasympathetic component of the extrinsic nervous system so that is the sympathetic nervous system that is the parasympathetic nervous system both combinedly forms the autonomic nervous system this autonomic nervous system regulates the extrinsic nervous regulation of the gastrointestinal tract here this is the myenteric plexus and that is the mesner's plexus or submucosal plexus look at these fibers from the parasympathetic these are the preganglionic fibers as the ganglions in the parasympathetic nervous system located near to the effector organ whereas in the sympathetic these are the mainly postganglionic fibers as the ganglions in the sympathetic system mainly located away from the effector organ so these are the postganglionic fibers of the sympathetic supply and these are the preganglionic fibers of the parasympathetic supply both are innervating the myenteric plexus and submucosal plexus as well as these myenteric plexus and submucosal plexus are also interconnected with the each others and these are the sensory neurons which receives whatever the stimulation arriving from the epithelium of the gastrointestinal tract and conveys it to the submucosal nervous plexus myenteric nervous plexus and to prevertebral ganglia spinal cord and brain stem so these are the afferent connections and efferent connection comes from the in the sympathetic and parasympathetic supply to the gastrointestinal tract hormonal control of gastrointestinal functions first one gastrin from the stomach it stimulates the gastric motility and secretion second one cholecystokinin from the small intestine it stimulates the pancreatic enzyme secretion and gold bladder contraction it inhibits the gastric emptying third one secretin from the small intestine it stimulates the pancreatic and biliary bicarbonate secretion so these are the main three hormones which controls the gastrointestinal functions first one gastrin cholecystokinin and secretin yes this is my thought a rough stone handles too much pain to become a diamond and diamond this is the immortal soul so please try to handle the so much pain but one day you will become a diamond and you will shine like a diamond always try to remember no pain no gain more pain more gain all right thanks for watching this video